Hey guys, Valtrex Pretzel here. Thank you for joining me for yet another speed build. Um, so this house was built on a 30 by 20 lot. It ends up being a four bed, three bathroom uh, house and it comes out to 178,901 simoleons. Um, Alright, so this was a very modern build as you can probably tell by the shape or maybe not but you'll be able to tell really soon um <laughs> all right um so i had a very specific idea for what i wanted in this build um and i think i think it you know came to life the way i wanted to i did have a couple of uh, sorry i did have a little bit of a hard time with sort of like the coloring because it's, it's black and white on the outside and you'll see as I'm doing the wall and um, the tops of those half walls, I, like, the fence, not the fencing on top, I don't know, the little top pieces that they have, like, I had a bit of a hard time with the coloring, like, there there are some parts that I wanted with that fence, the lower parts, and the higher ones, I wanted just a black top to them, and then when I started doing, like, when I had built it all around, and I was coloring the tops, um, it was changing the other pieces around and that just sort of bothered me anyways so this is i guess it's technically um a three floor build though the top floor is also the roof um so the stairs are for uh the stairs leading up there are out uh outdoors there's no way to get there from the inside uh because it, i mean it's just it's a essentially like a rooftop garden sort of thing so I just thought it I just thought I should follow with the theme of outdoors and just have it completely outdoor accessible. <laughs> um Yeah, anyways. Um so I was just trying to add some details with the posts and there's a couple more things that I try um for detailing and oh my god. That's <laughs> doing the columns on the second floor. That was impossible. I could not, for the life of me, place them. Um, so yeah, eventually, you saw I just sort of skipped to it, and I got there. What I did was I I stuck to the lower end ones, and I just sort of like raised them up, so they're just really long bars. And then um, already seeing them during like while I was furnishing looked really annoying and I was like wow that's gonna be super annoying during gameplay too probably um so what I ended up doing is later on in the video I'm not actually sure what part I do this but I, I found a way to to get them um oh there we go right there I find a way to just like level them off completely so that they're the correct size and at the correct place um I'm gonna say that looks really weird, like the columns with the with the, the the black thing across. Like, just it looks really awkward before adding windows. <laughs> um, but I swear it gets better, <laughs> especially the one on the side. Um, yeah. So I know that those the the smaller windows they're not like the most modern thing, but they were the like they were the perfect sized windows for what I wanted, and they. They were black, which worked with my black and white theme. And I'm, uh, despite the fact that they're not the most modern windows out there, I'm very, very happy with my choice of them. Um, so yeah, <laughs> uh, this house took me, I think, like exactly five hours to build. Um, but you know, it's not that bad. That seems to be my average for builds, uh, especially the bigger ones. I know in a previous video I mentioned that I'm like out of practice with sort of the big um, builds, and and I am, I am, uh, which is why I've been, I've been doing more of the bigger builds. It's just it's more of a challenge for me than smaller houses, um, and yeah, it's fun. It's fun to challenge yourself every once in a while. Uh, though I I, I am uh, working on a smaller house. I actually. Uh, for my next video, I redo the 10k challenge, um, but I have like my own little twist to it that you guys will, you guys will be able to see that next Monday when I post the video, and I'm really excited about that actually. Um, all right, anyways, back to the current build, the build of the day. Um, that's that's pretty much I think how I keep the outside. I think that's 
the general shape of it. Um, if I'm going to be completely honest, the when I get to um, furnishing it, the the furniture isn't as um, as as sorry, <laughs> it isn't as modern as it could be. Um, the modern look of this house is really, really in the exterior, the architecture of the house, as well as the, um, landscaping. I'm really happy with it, and I think it looked very modern, um, but, yeah, <laughs> despite, despite the lack of modern furnishing, I'm very, very happy with how this build turned out. Um, so yeah, I'm just trying to sneak a little powder room there on the ground floor without ruining my, uh, my floor plan too much. I struggle a little bit with the floor plan upstairs. Um, I do keep changing that up a little bit. At first, I think I wanted four bedrooms, two, um, two bathrooms upstairs, and then a little library. But I realized that the master bedroom was just, it was too small like that, and I i needed to change that up. So I end up with the four bedrooms and two bathrooms upstairs, but no library, which, you know what, it's fine. <laughs> they have bookcases. They have other places to read. <laughs> Um, yeah, so instead I just end up with a massive ensuite bathroom for the master bedroom. Um, and I really like how that turned out. Um, alright, so a little, um, note here. I realize, so I make, make a toddler bedroom and I keep it as a toddler bedroom, but when I, uh, furnish the dining room, I completely forgot that there was a toddler in the house and there is no actual, um, seat for the toddler to sit out there so if you guys download this house um and you guys keep the toddler bedroom you guys might want to just switch in one of the chairs for a high chair just you know so that your toddler can actually eat food um yeah all right so i was just messing around there with wall decorations um I wanted I wanted the kids' room to be really detailed, and I think I think I did that very well. Um, I feel like I use those pictures in every single toddler or baby room or whatever. Just I find them so perfect for it. And I'm sorry if it's um, redundant, but I just I really like how it looks. Um, most of the bedrooms, I think actually, I'm not sure if it's every single bedroom or just three out of the four uh, have carpeting instead of wood floors, which I mean, they don't, it doesn't really feel very modern to me when I think about carpeted floors. I don't think of them as fitting into a, um, into a modern house, but as much as I like hardwood floors, I, there was something about the carpeting. I just felt like it was right. Um, maybe it's cause I've been walking around barefoot a lot and I just wish there was something like softer sometimes than wood under my feet. Um, but I don't know. I don't know what it was. I just, I, I was really feeling carpet for this build. So even though it doesn't exactly work with the whole modern theme, um, I'm happy with it. <laughs> um, so yeah, for that, I don't know why I layered those two, like the two images together. I, it looks really, really weird, but I kind of like it. The, the, this kid that lives in that bedroom, like he's really into music, maybe like a little into techno and house music or dubstep or whatever that genre is i don't personally listen to any of those so i'm sorry if i just sounded totally clueless there um and i just found out that like i don't know maybe maybe i don't know what it was maybe i was just really tired when i decorated that room because to be honest i opened this house and closed work like i i stopped working on this house like three times um and then i mentioned that i was working on a really really modern build in my um in the video that i posted on monday um, and so I was like, okay, hey, now you have to finish it. There you go. <laughs> um, that's my little trick when I'm like, uh, when I'm reluctant to do something sort of like with the, um, let's play, I was just really, really nervous about it. So I made sure to mention it in a video so that, you know, I was held, like if I didn't do it, I would be held accountable. So I was like, okay, well, you know what? You said you were going to do it. It's out there. You have to do it. Don't disappoint your 19 subscribers. Um, okay, that might have sounded like I was making fun of the fact that I only have 19 subscribers, but I'm really happy to all of you who subscribe. Um, so thank you for that. Um, anyways. Oh, I just totally got off on a tangent there. Alright, so the kid bedrooms are done. <laughs> Working on the master bedroom. Um, I don't know why. Like, especially when it comes to the 
girls' bedrooms, I tend to go super stereotypical, even though, like, I, I've never had a pink bedroom, personally. I mean, when I was younger, I really, really wanted, I, pro- I probably really wanted a pink bedroom, and I think I remember wanting, like, butterflies on my walls or being very, very jealous of a friend who had some butterflies on her walls, but I used to share a room with my brother, so that really wouldn't have worked out. Um, but other than that, like, girly super girly phase in my life I never really had a bedroom that was pink I never really wanted a bedroom like that past the age of 12 um so I don't know why I stick with super stereotypical pink bedrooms for girls um whoops (laughs) um sorry about that I'll try to change it up I mean not all of the girl bedrooms I do I like that but anyways enough about that (laughs) um so here I was trying to get some interesting use of that wall separator because I have used it a lot in my builds lately um I really like how it looks but it I have used it a lot so I was trying to come up with a little something different by adding both of them and making a design with it but it just took up way too much space and I wouldn't have been able to fit everything I wanted to in there um I'm I I like giving sims the option to have a bath but Baths take so much longer than showers in The Sims, so I feel like if I give them a bathroom with a bath, I need to stick a shower in there as well. Uh, that's just my personal opinion on it. Um, so yeah, I want to just... That room was very bland in color, and I think I do the same thing with that second bathroom, where I just sort of try and add something a little bit interesting to it. So in the ensuite was that red wall, and I think I do... Is it a green wall or a blue wall? I don't know. I think I do a different colored wall, a feature wall for that second bathroom too. Um, I just really like how it looks. Okay, so it's an orangey brown. <laughs> I was totally off base there. Um, I don't know. I just just really feeling it. Oh my god, those are the curtains I picked. Oh god, they're horrendous. <laughs> I th- Okay, to be honest, I think I just sort of gave up when it came to the curtains. I just couldn't find anything I wanted. And so I probably just was like, you know what? These fit. They fit the windows perfectly. And I'm just going to stick with that. I probably just gave up, to be honest. Um, Whoops. Uh, Also, looking back, I realized I also forgot um, a potty for the... I pretty much forgot everything for a toddler other than the like what was in the toddler's room. So you guys are going to have to add a little potty thing for mr or mrs toddler um in this build and i i'm sorry about that um so yeah realizing that i wouldn't have a library so i stick a chess table and um uh and a, and a big bookshelf in the oh, what in the living room wow i cannot think i can't i can't worry today um but yeah so i tried to bring back the modern theme when I was working on this ground floor so I think I did a very good job with the living room I think that carpet seemed very like modern and yeah worked with the couches I think and yeah okay I'm back I'm officially babbling (laughs) I really really like that living room honestly it's it's plain but it's not at the same time like I just find that sort of having black and white can be very plain um but I just, I feel like it works in this instance. I didn't find it was, like, horrendously plain. Um, anyways. <laughs> Here we go for that massive, awkwardly shaped kitchen. It's, oh god, that kitchen shape is so weird. But I really, I'm, like, I'm digging it. I love it so much, actually. Um, so you have a little bit of a breakfast bar, but it's connected to the wall. I mean, for two reasons. One, the shape is really really weird and if I had it just sort of like floating in the living middle of the kitchen it would just make half that space completely obsolete um and two I always have islands that are just floating out in the middle of the kitchen having it against a wall was something different for me to do so I just went with it and I I like how it turned out um it's it's a massive kitchen Oh, God, the the counter space is glorious. (laughs) Like, I added two sinks in there. I'm like, yep, I'm going all out. Um, Anyways, so, as you see, I bring the red theme in for that uh, that room. Um, I did overdo it. I really did. I put too much red, and I do tone it down. 
um, a little bit. Uh, yeah, I already did like some of the appliances and the sinks. I just I cut the red out because it's already in the fridge and the stove, and I keep it under the lights. And I'm just like, that's that's enough red. There's there was too much red before. Um, but I do bring it back and move it along into the dining room, which is those two red chairs and those red um, vase, vase, vases. Va I think you know what I'm trying to say. The pot, the potted plants. Um, anyways, so the dining room, that was another very awkwardly shaped room. So I just had to find like cool decorations to go in those little nooks, um, which I think I did very well. I mean, that... The one with the plants came out really nice, and actually, I'm pretty happy with how that second little area came out. I loved having, like, the bar idea, but I didn't actually have room for a bar in this kitchen, uh, in this dining room. I would have had to, like, completely rearrange it, and also, I hated the, like, that, that neon lighting that was happening with the bar, uh, with the, like, alcohol shelf, so I just scrapped that idea. Um... Yeah, so just stuck in a bunch of decorations there just to give that room a little more life. And I re I really like this this how this dining room turned out. Um the downstairs is definitely a lot more modern than the upstairs is, but I like it cuz I mean I think I mean the, the master bedroom I found was the most modern of all the bedrooms. Um and so I feel like you know, it's the parents that bought this house, they bought it because it's their style, but they let their kids sort of decorate their bedrooms however they wanted. So, like, there was a little bit of a modern touch to it, like, with the dressers, found their, like, the dressers, the desks also, like, pretty modern, but, you know, they keep, you know, they go for the carpeted floors, um, mostly the carpeted floors, I think, is what throws off the modern aspect to it. Anyways, I'm babbling. <laughs> um... I sort of just decorated the landing a little bit, and now I'm working on the entrance. Uh, once again, the awkwardly shaped entrance. <laughs> Every like, so many of the rooms in this house are just awkwardly shaped, but I love it. It just adds a little bit, like it just adds some character to this house. I find. Um, <laughs> anyways, just trying to find a mirror there. I just go for the full length one. I think it. I think it. You know. I think it did it. Blah, 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 blah. I think it did it justice. There we go. <laughs> um, all right. So for the the roof and the front and back uh, deck, I actually use white wood. And honestly, right now it looks like I haven't put anything on there. Um, I find that it just sort of looks like the plain nothingness that just comes when you build a room. And, you know, it gives you like an, a basic um, floor. I feel like it looks like that when you're. I don't know when you're not looking at it in high quality and zoomed in. <laughs> um, yeah, anyway, so the there's two sections that I section off here for the the roof where I just do sort of a garden area. Um, and then I keep the rest sort of like a light entertainment um, hot tub place. Uh, yeah, just I chuck in a little bench in there because... Yeah, it's super nice to sit and I'm like just surrounded by flowers, uh, provided that there aren't too many, you know, bees or whatever floating around. Um, so yeah, I was like, oh, this is getting so redundant, all of these plants. Like, I realized that I still have the entire ground floor landscaping to do, and I'm like, oh my god, there's going to be the same plants everywhere. <laughs> but you know what, I think I made it work. Um, I love the stones, actually, because those are seats. And, um, but they just look, you know, like stones, like nature and I just, I really like how that sort of blended in there. Um, but yeah, I just, <laughs> I wasn't completely sure how to fill in that area. To be honest, it does stay relatively empty, but you know what, I, I don't think there's a problem with that. Like, they're just sort of there to enjoy the view. Um, it doesn't need to be jam-packed with things you know you got your stereo you got your hot tub you have beautiful plants everywhere what more do you need <laughs> um this was this was actually kind of tough to uh, light up because i didn't want too many of those floor lamps especially not in the middle and obviously there's no ceiling for me to connect anything the walls aren't nearly high enough to have wall lights so i mean you know i'm just gonna have to make do with it being a little bit dark sorry guys <laughs> 
Um, but yeah, I did keep the balconies pretty simple. There's just, other than like plants and seating, there wasn't much to do. So I didn't want to crowd it with, I didn't want to crowd it with too much of the same. Like I didn't want six benches all across that front, um, front balcony. I just thought it would be pointless. Um, so yeah, obviously adding in a pool because when do I not add in a pool? <laughs> Let's be honest here. Um, keeping with that black and white theme, of course. Uh, then I was just trying to find a fence to fence off the back. Um, yeah, I'm I'm picky. I'm I'm a very picky person, especially with the fences. And I mean, it it is the it was the closest I would get to the perfect fence for this. Um, but. <laughs> It's just the glass wasn't clear enough for my liking, so I'm just looking back on it and I'm like, oh my god, this is this is so painful. Um <laughs> anyways. Uh so sort of like the whole landscaping is just a bunch of stone with um areas like that for plants. Um, which is actually it really reminds me of another build that uh that I'm working on, that I've started to work on, um, but really, it's it's a build that I started building probably over a year ago, and uh, I like I, I completed the build, and I'm just sort of like recreating it because I really really like it. And I want to post it for you guys, so I've been working on it, and it has a similar um, landscaping style where there's stone on the ground to separate landscaping aspects. So it's sort of similar, but it's also incredibly different. You guys, you guys will see when it when it gets posted. It'll be my, it'll be up a week in a, in a week. Yeah, it'll be my next Friday post. Um, yeah. Anyways, I'm really excited to show you guys that one. Um, so yeah, I just I found that this just added so much to the outdoor modern aesthetics of this build. Um, I'm very very happy how this with how this garden turned out. Uh, I know realistically you can't really have three trees that close together because the roots will wreak havoc on on everything. <laughs> um, but it's the sense. I'm, t I'm taking some creative liberties there. <laughs> um, so I was sort of struggling a little bit with what plants to put where uh, because I was like, you know, there's a lot of areas for plants, and this is going to be extremely redundant. And you don't want, t like, you don't want all the tall plants to be at the front, because then it'll hide the plants at the back, unless you're walking through the garden. And but at the same time, you don't like there's not enough room because everything was made really thin towards like touching the house. So you didn't, want, you couldn't really put anything too tall there. So it was just a lot of things going in my mind. Like, oh, I don't want to make everything I don't want to make each patch look identical and you know I need some intrigue to this but there's only so much I can do and anyways a lot of internal debate I <laughs> I thought about it on the spot it's it's really difficult for me to try and think back to it and make me sound like something other than psychotic <laughs> um but anyways I, I really am happy with how it turned out I think it was very very nice um very chic <laughs> um I really love those plants, like, those three plants that I'm using right there, I'm obsessed with them. I don't use them a lot because I know that if I let myself go crazy on them like I went there, it would never stop. It would just never, ever stop. Um, but I thought it was very nice, you know, it's not blocking anything's view, so I'm fine with having the tall combination, like, just having a bunch of tall plants there, and I'm like, you know what, no, this works, this is cool. Um... Yeah, unfortunately, you can't, if you want to walk around that garden, you have to go around the front because of the fence. I, like, on one hand, I feel like I should have put a little, like, f gate uh, to go through the fence. But, you know, then anyone who walks around can have access to the back of the, um, back of the house and to the pool and to the future barbecue that's going to go there. Like, it's, you know, I found it um intruded on privacy but it kind of sucks that like you walk all the way to the back and you're like oh, oh you know i just want to go back into the house i don't want to go all the way through to through to the front or i want to go to for a swim i just walk through the garden it's hot out i'm sweating i need to cool down but no you have to go all the way back to the front and through the house you know it's a little annoying to do it that way but 
you know, it's for their privacy. <laughs> um, yeah. Anyways, uh, just adding the last few things. The table so you can eat your barbecue. A couple more seats by the pool. Um, this, is, this is so packed with items. Like, I don't think I've ever made a yard this detailed in any of my builds before. At least not recently. Um, I really, really, I, I really like this. I won't go so far as to say this is my dream house. But I'm definitely, definitely liking it. And I wouldn't say no to living there. <laughs> Um, and I love lighting up the plants. I just found it, find it adds just a little something. I don't know. I don't know what, but it adds a little something to the house. Um, anyways, here we are in the screenshots. Um, there were a couple parts when I noticed that things weren't painted properly or was missing a specific item other than the toddler item. So I went in after this, like the mailbox, the garbage. Uh, so when you download them, Everything's perfectly painted, despite what it might look like in here, and you have your mailbox and your garbage, and I apologize for that accident, but if you download it, everything will be there. Um, anyways, if you'd like to